So in this video, it's just going to be an update on the Mozambique tilapia that I got, plus some other tilapia I have. I was going to combine both this video and the previous video I posted, which was on Sunday, which was just the basically the quarantine process of the Mozambique tilapia. That's why I waited this long before I posted that one, but since it was going to be too long when, if I combined both of these videos, I decided just to separate them and just post this one now. So basically, this will be just an update on how the Mozambique tilapia are doing. I also got some blue tilapia over in that tank, which I'll show you as well. So this week will basically be some GoPro footage of that. And I do plan to get some red Nile tilapia in the next maybe a few weeks, which I'll be putting in that tank over there. So I basically trading a friend all the bluegill that are in there. I already took them out and gave them to him for some red Nile tilapia. So that's pretty much that. And heating wise, I am gonna try the compost bin over there shortly. I do have a lot of videos I need to edit and post. I just haven't got it to it. Also someone mentioned a solar heater in the video I posted on Sunday. Uh, that, I wasn't really thinking of solar heater. I was thinking of putting solar panels to run the greenhouse eventually maybe, either up along here since I don't need any sun in that area or if I can do it on the house and then connect it somehow to the aquaponic system that would be cool. For the heating wise I do have a inline heater that I got which I still need to hook up eventually. Got a lot of things to do. So that's pretty much that video is just going to show you the tilapia in this tank and the blue tilapia I have over there. So here are the blue tilapia. I'll get a GoPro or get my GoPro later and stick it in here so you can have a good footage of them. But these guys are pretty cool. Huh. They usually come up and devour everything. Maybe they're shy. Camera shy. But yeah, there's a... There's like how many in here? I think like eight or something. Where? There you go, you can see one there. There's a big guy in here too. That guy there. Uh, so, I might put some pots in here and just see if they do their thing. Otherwise, it'd be when I corn take them out and put them in a separate tank for breeding kind of thing. So that big guy's a male. I also have some smaller blue tilapia in this tank mixed with some catfish. So these come from two different people. This is from one person and that is from another person. that's pretty much all for that video. It was just showing you the two different tilapias that I have right now in my aquaponic system, which is the Mozambique tilapia and the blue tilapia. So they're pretty cool. 
the nice thing about them is that they're easy to breed and they grow pretty fast, at least when you have the temperatures at the right point. So I still have a lot to do. So we need to insulate all these tanks and set up the heater and stuff, but waiting for some things and try to buy this kind of stuff or do the other type of styrofoam just so we can make it warmer for them during the winter time. So I do have a greenhouse, but it still gets cold in here unless I'm able to heat the water or kind of cover them so it keeps that heat that builds up inside the base of the tank. Because right now there's a lot of heat loss because of all the water surface area I have, so I can reduce that quite a bit by doing different things. But other than that, that was just a simple video showing the tilapia that I have in my aquaponics system. If you have any questions or comments, remember to leave them below. And as always, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.